Hi, welcome back to the channel. Um, last week was a bit of a disaster. Everything I touched last week turned to crap. Um, every job I tried to do created another job. So hopefully this week's going to be a little bit better. There's a little story to tell you in a minute, um, which may be my fortune changing. But let's go through what we got up to last week. We tried to change out the bushes on the leaf front, leaf spring. Um, this was because we heard a knock on certain roads and at certain points on journeys. The idea was that maybe these new bushes, which are supposed to be a harder compound, will get rid of that knock. While we were doing that, we snapped four bolts. Um, so last week we spent trying to fix them by extracting them, which didn't go to plan. It was probably six, seven hours of drilling and tapping and trying to, trying to extract these studs and it just didn't work. Um, in the end, we had to order some new parts. And that's where we got up to last week. So this week, Monday, I ordered the new parts, um, two new low control arms, thinking I was ordering them from a company called Online Parts, Online Car Parts. Turns out this is another front for Autodoc, a company that I don't really like to use because their deliveries are so slow and They've proved that again this week. So I ordered on Monday. Funds were extracted Tuesday. Wednesday? Wednesday. Parcels marked as dispatched on <clears throat> Wednesday, was it? Wednesday evening. Thursday I got some tracking information. Friday I got an update on the tracking saying it had been it was on its way. We're now on Saturday morning. There's still no update when I'm gonna receive them. But strangely, yesterday. I got a text from one of my friends, Gary. Now, Gary, um, I've posted a few pictures of his van. He bought a big, um, older, craft, older version crafter, the 2.5 one. And it was a massive unit. There's pictures of my van and his van packed beside each other on Facebook. Um, lovely fella. Well, he texted me yesterday and he says, I've just watched your video um, where you've snapped bolts in lower arms. Turns out I've got two of these. They're brand new and you can have them. So I texted him straight away, I says, that's lovely, thank you very much, are you sure you don't want anything for them? And he goes, I'm going to throw them away, the scrap, got rid of the van because of the problem with the ECU, and these are just scrap now, they're sitting, they're ready to go, to be thrown away. So I went and collected them yesterday, that's them lying down there, I don't know if you can see them, but they're lying down there and I'll show you them in a minute. They are the exact ones that I need, how bizarre is that? You know, I'm a firm believer in karma, what goes around comes around and I hope what I did at the beginning when Gary got his van is now being repaid by Gary giving me these parts. I've also got some new bolts for the ones that are snapped, so they're ready to go on. Today's job is going to fit, we are going to fit both control arms, all the new bushes, the new bolts and bolt everything back up and hopefully be back on the road by, it's about 10 o'clock now, Hopefully back on the road by mid-afternoon. So let's see how we get on. Plenty to do anyway. Oh yeah, and Storm Otto's blown away in the background. So that might come into factor today. It might We might get rained off at some point. I'm hoping not. But I'll stick my ovies on and we'll get stuck in. So these are the two Gary was going to throw away. And they are exactly what we need. I'm so happy, <laughs> so happy I can get this job done this weekend, it's, you know, it's, it's one of them. I work long hours through the week and the weekend is the only opportunity I get to do real proper jobs. I can do a little bit at night, I can spend a, an hour or two setting things up, getting ready for the weekend, taking the wheels off, loosening off bolts, but I do the majority of the work at the weekend. On the original part, there is a stamp there and that's depicting that this is the right hand side one I'm sure there's somewhere else on it where it's stamped right hand yeah we've got some more numbers there I've got a cloth, I'll give that a wipe <coughs> so there you go, there's some originals there and on the new parts it's stamped there so make sure you get your left and your right sorted out they are stamped up and it'll usually just be an R 
or in that case an L on the end of the number. But yeah, let's get them fitted. When I've got new parts and uh, bolts and stuff like that, I always try and assemble them first, make sure everything fits. So, just to help things along, a little bit of oil on the thread. Ah, that's perfect, nothing wrong with that. Again, I'll do this one. And all that is is a little bit of engine oil. I don't want the same problem happening as we had last week where we'll put a little bit more on that. Well when we come to take things apart, they wouldn't come apart. Adding a little bit of oil will penetrate the threads, it'll stop corrosion as well. Uh, well, not stop it, but it'll slow it down. They all fit perfect. I'll do that to the other one and then we'll get them put on the van. I'll show you this as well, to make life easier we've actually cable tied our caliper up out the way onto the anti-roll bar and onto the actual axle stand that just keeps it up out of the way takes the pressure off the hose also disconnect these cables off your shockers and that stop it pulling on all your connections okay let's start fitting this out Somewhere handy, we can grab it. Right, um, so you can't see this head because we've got the caliper in the way. But basically, we'll slot both ends in, drop the bolts through, and we'll leave that loose while we set up all the rest of it. I think um, we need to leave the damper off as well. So what we'll do is we'll fit both of these, we'll put the beam back in, the uh, leaf spring and the new bushes. Just needed some eyes on. and cover off the bottom here rotate that round and lift that into position the ball joint in a little just to try and get it lined up well I've done yeah fire away just give me two seconds son Tighten that nut up as far as you can get it. I'll go underneath and do the next one. Jeez, that's tight. 
nearly. <laughs> Time to put these top rubbers in. Now the last time I fitted these I had a bit of an issue because they won't stay in place. So to get around that we're going to put a little bit of hot glue around these two nipples. When we push it into place open that will hold it while we build up the rest of the, the beam and the, the assembly that goes underneath. Right second one I'm going to put a little dab of glue on the nips and then just push that in. And hopefully it'll hold as well. It comes off really quick. That's two. <laughs> Okay, we've put the bottle jack under the control arm, got the bush in, got this beam, the leaf spring centred, and it's just a matter of putting this top plate on now. What we're going to do while we set everything up is just put the bolts in loosely. So we'll crack on and do that now. Okay, we need to drop the cover around, get that in position. Got the cover on now, got one bolt in there, we'll just put the second one in here. We might have to put a couple on the top first. Let's just get a bite on each thread. Right, that'll do for now. We're somewhere close. Get your rubber, turn your plate over the other way, and you literally just work that head through, and it's that simple. New rubber in place, you can push it through like that. But I was just bend it each way, just to make sure it's seated properly. And that's it, job done. Both ready to go back in the van. Maybe let's offer this up.
drop the jack down a little bit. So let's tuck one in. Let's tuck one in. Okay, we need to line all these up. So what we'll do is, the old marks are there. I don't know if you can see that. If I show you there, there's the old marks. So what we're gonna do is just nip the bolt up first and then get it all set up after that. So we're nearly, we're somewhere near there. The looks of things. We're a mile off. What we need to do is get that all the way over there first. And just bring it back a little bit. So I think that's about in the right place now. So what we'll do is we'll give it a nip. First job when we're back on the road is going to get that checked. Well, we've got everything back together. I've serviced the brakes, I forgot to record that bit. We've put some copper slip on the uh, on the rotor there so it stops it sticking to the wheel when we come to take it off in the future. But yeah, it's everything back to where it should be. All the cables are dressed in. Well, always best to check. <laughs> Nearly left the bloody socket behind. Right, so them bolts are tight there. Top of the plate, the bottom ball joint's been checked. Just got to put the wheel on now. So before sticking the wheels back on, I took this opportunity to give them a good clean. And I think they come out looking as good as new. Well, we're back together. Um show you. The weather took a turn for the worst. Um, I'm soaked. But um I basically bit the bullet, fired everything back together, got the wheels on. Um just got one more thing to check. Not sure if I put all the little cables away on the near side. I was in a bit of a rush. So I'm just gonna make sure all the cables around the strut are uh, in the right place. And uh Guess what? That's where all the rainwater's running down now. So I'm going to get wet. So I'm going to do this quickly. <laughs> okay, test drive time. So we've talked all the wheel nuts, we've uh, pumped the brake, we've made sure we've got a good brake there before we set off because we've been messing about with the brakes as well. Um, the cambers look good. Um, everything seems to be there or thereabouts. Um, it seems to be sitting a little bit higher as well on the front end. Now, hopefully that's a, a positive. Um, we'll see. We'll take it for a little run now and we'll see how it behaves. Keep getting engine management light on. Now, it hasn't moved for about three weeks, so I'm hoping it's nothing and it's just messing about with itself. No, it's clear this. Turn that off. Don't know copyright claims on us, do we? I've already had that one copyrighted before. Handbrake needs some attention next. Right, let's uh, let's go on and a little mooch about. See how things behave. A couple of weeks.
weeks, like I said before, probably three weeks um, since we had the van out. Last run was just a, a drive around in it to free everything up again, keep it moving. So, well, it feels better. Now, this will be the test here. It's quite. Uh, seems to be okay so back there it's quite rough um, and I have heard that knock that we've been trying to cure I have heard that knock there so didn't hear it that time we'll take it for a run anyway we'll see how it behaves if that's your van leave a comment you know who you are <laughs> Well, that's our test drive complete. Van's back on the drive and uh, feels better. It does feel better, but over the next few days I'll drive it round and we'll see how it behaves. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you again.